Now, U.S. President Barack Obama and his Republican rival Mitt Romney are entering their final full week of the campaign trail before voting day next week. The race is close, so even a small move in the polls could be significant for either candidate. Joining me now for more on the presidential election is Otago University international relations expert Robert Patman. Good morning, Professor. Good morning, Rachel. It seems the key battleground really is the economy. Is that the make or break issue in this election, do you think? I think it is, and it was, uh, I think, very telling, Rachel, in the third of the presidential debates, which was on foreign policy, virtually a third of that debate was devoted to the interface between foreign policy and the economy. The economy looms very large, and Mr Romney, of course, has got some traction in the campaign by promising to create 12 million jobs. But critics of Romney are saying he'll have to go beyond simply criticising Mr Obama's performance and give some sp specific measures how he's going to do this. And Mr. Obama's had some good news recently. Um, the last uh, third, the last quarter, economic performance shows that it's gro the economy is growing at two percent, and uh, unemployment has steadily fallen for about the last 30 months. So the Obama team argue that their measures are working, and that they've had to deal with the worst financial crisis since the 1930s. Mr. Romney says yes, the economy is growing, but it's growing too slowly, and under me, we will recover much quickly. More quickly. So, uh, so Obama's had some good news in that sense, but uh, is Mitt Romney perceived as having this stronger economic brain? Do you think he may be perceived? But you know, uh, the, the the fact of the matter is, he has been incredibly vague on exactly what he's going to do. He's also shifted. Um, at one stage, his tax. I mean, he's been unclear uh, how he's going to facilitate something close to five trillion in tax cuts and also another two trillion on, on, on military expenditure over 10 years uh, so you know this is uh, th this is a lot of money and uh, Mr Obama is saying without spelling out precisely how he's going to bring this about you can't just say because he's been a successful businessman he's going to be run be able to run the biggest economy in the world without giving the Americans some clear indications of how he's going to do this and of course critic would say um, that he's going to do this by cutting back on such things as the health care reform that Mr. Obama introduced, which brought 40 million Americans in, you know, gave them health insurance. Well, he's made no bones about that. That, that will go. We know that uh, certainly in uh, the polls, women uh, are perhaps uh, leaning towards one candidate. Who do they like and why? Well, I think Mr. Obama believes the issue of abortion, of course, looms very large in American politics. Mr. Obama takes the view that women should have choice in that area. The Republicans, on the whole, are against, they, they call, describe themselves as pro-life. And recently, Mr. Romney's position has been made more difficult by the fact that one of the Republican contenders for the Senate, Richard Murdoch, has indicated in a controversial statement that women made pregnant through the act of rape that such an outcome was the intention of God and although Mr Romney has distanced himself from that statement he's nevertheless continued to support the candidate Mr Murdoch so it's quite true Rachel that most many women in the United States believe Mr Obama is far more pro-women than Romney. Okay just quickly um, Professor what impact could Hurricane Sandy have on this election outcome uh, depending of course on what happens there? Well, it's ironic, uh, isn't it, Rachel, that one issue wasn't discussed in the presidential debates, climate change, is possibly beginning to intervene in the shape of Hurricane Sandy. Um, it could either diminish or enhance the political prospects of the two contenders, uh, Mr Obama and Mr Romney. It's certainly a wild card. I think, on balance, Mr Obama, providing he's quick and nimble, could benefit from rallying the country at a time of difficult weather. All right, Professor Robert Petman, appreciate your time. Live for us in Dunedin. Thank you. Thank you.